earlier, uh, who I didn't even know was British. She was fantastic in Steve McQueen's Widows, very good in Bad Times at El Royale, and she, her star is definitely right. Brian May arriving, the real Brian oh, May. Oh, well, we, we can hardly Brian tell May. the difference between him uh, and how he's portrayed in Bohemian Rhapsody. Of course, he's not. He's, he's here not because of Bohemian Rhapsody, he's here because he's one of the pro producers of Bohemian Rhapsody. He's had a lot to do with how that film looks, how that film works, and also the one big controversy does surround Bohemian Rhapsody. We probably should talk about it while Brian May is here representing that film. Of course, it was directed by an American director called Brian Singer. We're seeing with a shot with racism now, today, yeah. and that's why I sort of said Green Book to me feels a little old-fashioned. Well, got... Brian May is with Lisa. Yes, absolutely. Uh, one of the producers, of course, of Bohemian Rhapsody, outstanding British film nominee. I mean, what's it been like seeing the success of the movie at the box office in particular? It's been phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. I think we thought it would do well, we hoped it would do well, but the way it's touched people's hearts has been amazing to see the kind of response that we've got. And this is just a bonus, of course. You know, it's wonderful to be here, get nominated, and if we get something to take home, then fabulous. But if not, it's been an amazing journey. Just very happy. What's it been for, for you personally seeing all those years put out on the big screen for audiences to watch? It's very odd. You know, in the beginning it was very scary because it's the story of Freddie's life, but it has to be the story of us as a family. So you start to think, oh my God, somebody's going to be portraying me and people will believe that this is what I was like. You know, uh, But gradually we, tr we trusted the team and the team made the movie. You know, the actors are incredible, the whole... Uh, cinematography team. Uh, Tom Siegel's nominated here for, for uh, DOP, which is great. He did a wonderful job of creating an atmosphere in the lighting and the way it was shot. So many people worked so hard on this. I'm just very proud of them all. Of course, uh, Brian Singer was removed from the movie during shooting. He's had his nomination now removed after allegations have emerged, allegations which he strenuously denies. How has that affected you? Has it overshadowed the movie? It's really nothing to do with us. You know, he hasn't been the director for a long time. And uh, he was sacked for very good reasons, not by us, but by Fox. So it's a very arm's length kind of thing for us. And um, the only reason his name is on the movie is because his guild forced Fox to do that. You know, so technically, really, you know, he's not the director of the movie. But, you know, that's, that's just life. You know, we're all here very happy. And, uh, you know, everyone who had something to do with the movie should be proud. Thank you so much, Brian. And he's Back to that whole thing of who you are as a woman and, and your kind of personal choice really. Stella McCartney's talked a lot about the sort of the ethics of fashion I know, hasn't she? And the, yes. the importance of thinking about what it is you're buying and the durability of it because some fashion labels do get criticised, particularly high street uh, brands, for being too disposable. I think, you know, in the end, I've always believed in the idea that clothing should kind of last you a lifetime. Something beautiful shouldn't necessarily be thrown away after six months. Um, and obviously Stella's been a real pioneer in that whole sustainable thing, taking it even a stage further into fibres and, you know, the whole...